one. Wow. If you don't want me to sound the alarm. Witamy Was na Gamescomie. Jak widzicie, jesteśmy przed budką Ubisoft, gdzie rozmawiamy z gwiazdą Star Wars Outlaws. When you receive the information, listen, there is a game based on a very known franchise, beloved all over the world. Is it thrilling? Is it something that you make it scary when you go on edition? Or maybe, just maybe, you don't know heck anything about the project because it's so secret uh, definitely the last one they would never even hint at it being a franchise uh, you sign a lot of paperwork a lot of NDAs and the audition process was about five months um, and the first audition was just you know they use fake names a fake script um, it can give hints to the kind of character they want you know K Vess is you know a scoundrel she she's kind of down on her luck and she's fearless and confident and charming but they would never tell you that it's Star Wars. Wait up. So you're going on a casting crew with the, on the casting crew and uh, you know that you will be playing in a game but you don't know who so yeah. how, how do you prepare like aren't you a little bit surprised listen what's going on? No because it's always like that that's my job I mean um, I, I, as an actor especially at the very early stages of casting you don't often get a lot of information but Um, they give you a breakdown like this is the kind of uh, characteristics we're looking for they'll give you uh, you know just some aid in the kind of character that it is and from the initial audition I, I could look at that audition and say yeah K Bess is right there because it was a scene you know at a bar with Nyx different name of course but I, you could see that she has a companion and she was down on her luck someone comes and gives her an opportunity and she kind of gets excited but she just she's scared of it but she kind of wants to do it because there's money involved So a lot of the elements of KVS were in it, but they don't give you like specific and accurate information, just enough to see if the actor can bring it to life. And for me, that is enough because our, our job as actors is to to do the most with the bare minimum. <laughs> all right, but people are curious all the time. So you what, change in the small detective and try to figure out what it is? Or no. you say like, if I get it, they will tell me. Exactly, yeah. I don't ever try to find out like exactly what it is because it doesn't really matter. At the end of the day, um, if the part is mine, it's mine. And then everything else gets revealed. But it was about five months. And eventually in the last chemistry read, that's when they told me it was Star Wars. and. I, I wasn't scared. I was thrilled. I was excited that you know I, I've been working with Ubisoft for several years, and I was ready to lead a game. So, who told you that you're from the Lucas films that you're in this game? Like, it, does it come with a letter from uh, George Lucas saying like, "Welcome <laughs> to family"? How, how does it work? No, no. Um, I'm Canada-based. I was in Toronto. This was through COVID. It was 2022, so very private. Only two people: the cameraman and the director. Uh, our narrative director, Navid Khavari. Uh, and then everybody else was on Zoom uh, in Sweden and Malmo, so it was like a very early audition. And uh, Jay Rincon was on Zoom as well because it was our final chemistry read, and that's when uh, we got to interact, which was really cool. But it was just him telling me, like, uh, okay, you signed the paperwork, just so you know, this is Star Wars, you would be the lead of the game. And I was excited. Um, Naveen and I have worked together in the past uh, on Far Cry 6, which is another Ubisoft game. So I was very excited. Honestly, I, I think I said something along the lines of, let's play and let's let's kill this audition. Let's see if it's mine. All right. When you knew it is the Star Wars, then you started thinking canon. When is this game, game based in the storytelling of Star Wars? Yeah, I mean, I didn't know it was canon at first. Uh, they told me very, very little. I knew that it was Star Wars, but I didn't find out about the story until maybe a few months later when we started filming. And that was like late summer of 2022 uh, that they told me that the story was actually going to take place in the original trilogy, which was exciting. Empire Strikes Back, Return of the Jedi, an incredible timeline to have a, a thriving underworld uh, storyline of a scoundrel. So I was very excited. It was unbelievable to me. I mean, it was like a dream come true that I would get to go back and watch the movies and, and try to think of where do I fit into all of this. Tell me as a fan, when they told you when it is based in the time, did you think, hmm, it's a game, it's not a movie. Yeah. So maybe, just maybe, Harrison Ford as <laughs> Han Solo will appear for a brief cameo, you know, like a small scene, maybe, just maybe. 
<laughs> I feel like I was trying to focus on the project so much that it's impossible to think about where it could go when in reality I had to make sure I was in the present to make sure I was bringing the story to life and the character to life, especially because KVS is a brand new scoundrel story. I was very excited that she was in that underworld because it means Han Solo, it means Lando Calrissian, it means a different side of Star Wars that we haven't explored as much because Kay Bass is not a Sith, she's not a Jedi, she is a, a young scoundrel rookie who has dreams of having more, you know, but she doesn't know what's out there, she know, doesn't know the underworld, the crime syndicates, the dangerous scenarios that she's going to find herself in, so I had to really focus on whose story am I telling here and how can I make sure that it's different from anything we've seen. I already played the game and I'm curious how was the preparation for you because mm -hmm. you're not only a character, you actually played a character yeah. with motion capture and everything. So how was it? How would this, the, this, this session look like? Well, motion capture is quite different from film and TV because uh, we don't have a set or hair or makeup or costumes. We don't have the luxury to rely on all of these elements that bring the world to life for a character, you know? It's not as immersive as you would if you walked onto a film set. But what we get is a lot of imagination. It's very creative, it's very childlike. Uh, I rely a lot on the aid of my director, my producers, the writers. They show me you know, inspiration for what they're going for. They show me storyboards of what it's gonna look like. But I'll never really fully see what it looks like until I play the game. And to this day, I, there's still a lot that I don't know what it looks like. That's what I wanted to ask, because when I was talking to the actors that were playing in Call of Duty, they told me like, oh, we're going to a small room, and they were saying like, jump! Go for the bench. Crawl right now. And you don't have any story in your head. There's some movements that your character has to move, has to do. So I'm curious how much challenging for an actor it is to do only those things without, you know, playing in your head how the story progress in the same uh, time that you're doing something. You know, we actually flesh out and rehearse all of the scenes. Uh, you know, it's like the Mondays are the days that we... We rehearse all the scenes that we're going to do and film that week and we actually get to know exactly what we're doing. We just need to make sure that we know where in the timeline and case journey it happens so that we know, you know, how confident is she here or what experience does she have? Who has she met that has influenced her journey so far and how she changes? So it's about making sure that we're all communicating and making sure that we're on the same page so that when we bring the scenes to life, they make sense and and in the timeline that we're trying to convey. When it's a canon, so probably in your head, is it, am I coming back? Can I, this character played by me, appear in a TV series, in a movie? This Is this uh, things popping to your head? Are you thinking about it? Absolutely, I think any actor who does any big franchise or canon and, and it's in a different medium, you think, hmm, this could actually exist in any other form because you know, this is the inception of this story. There's still so much to tell. I hope that I get to play a K vest for a long time. Fingers crossed. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you so much.